Yes, it's me, Rufus. No, it's not. If you were Rufus, you'd know the secret knock. I know it. It uh, starts with N, right? Ha! <laughs> Good luck. Hey, that was actually correct. Of course it was correct, you dope. Rufus, is that you? What are you doing out there? What do I know? Maybe I just enjoy knocking. Come on in. Janusz is expecting you. Rufus, pleased to see you. Janusz, wow. What you built up here is... Oh, it's not all bad. Yes, recruitment operations are running smoothly. <laughs> I must have underestimated my charisma. Or the fact that nobody likes being blown to smithereens. Tony? You? Rufus? Ah, you seem to have met. Number 26. This is number two, our spiritual guide. Rufus is number two? That must be a joke. Yeah. Why am I only number two? But now, we have one more than 25 people in our couch. You mean 26? Precisely! Although that is counting the three trained Dorvins, Ashley. And you're complaining about your number? You're training dolphins? That's my job here. Got a problem with that? They are torpedo dolphins. Ah! I can see how under Tony's care, even peaceful dolphins might be transformed into bloodthirsty implements of destruction. But what's the point of that? I mean, how can trained dolphins possibly help you to capture an elevator headed for orbit? We've got to work with whatever we can get. Which appears to be especially true for spiritual guides. First, we were going for flying dragons, but that proved to be a fatal mistake. That's what I kept telling number 27, but he just wouldn't listen. Hey, Janosch. Ah, Rufus, death to the Organon and show on. How did you manage to mobilize so many people in such a short time? I think they are just used to having a planet under their feet. And I also promised them t-shirts with funny prints, if we win. What's Tony doing here? You know number 26. She joins the rebellion because someone destroyed her hometown. Yeah, I know. The Organon. No, no, not the Organon. Somebody called Evan Bastard. Never heard of him. What's up with those torpedo dolphins? Cool, aren't they? If you need them, talk to number 26. But don't expect too much. I had to shell the torpedo equipment to order pizza for all of us. 
You sold all the torpedo equipment? Yes, in the gadget shop in the floating black market. The chopper mat gave me fireproof insholsh as a bonus. Who bought your torpedo equipment? The chopper mat. Just in time before the chop closed. Uh, Donna is hiding underwater. Hm. I almost wish I hadn't sold the torpedo equipment. On the other hand, the peach of us very good. Melted cheesy with the pepperoni. Isn't it a little too risky to operate directly under the nose of the Organon? Oh, uh, speaking of which, you got a booger there. A booger? Ooh, icky icky icky. But that is exactly the point. You can't see right under your nose and down here in the sewers. Nobody wants to smell either. We are even almost out of air fresheners. Oh, I'm off to hunt submersibles. I wish you luck, FIFA Revolution. Well, look who came toddling after me. See? You've never been able to resist my animal magnetism. Keep it short, okay? I have a job to do here that needs my total concentration. Guarding dolphins? Keeping down my lunch. What are you doing here anyway? I could ask you the same thing. Didn't you want to go to Elysium with that Gloria? Her name is Goal. And where is Goal? Has she already succumbed to one of your brilliant maneuvers? Did you accidentally toss her out of a burning hot air balloon? Far from it. It was an escape pod. Or did you saw her into pieces? Not literally. Goal is waiting outside, and she's in good health. At least two-thirds of her. One can only feel sorry for her. How did you get here? You didn't know what to do with yourself without me, huh? Well, I woke up one morning and was amazed to discover that there wasn't a single fire to extinguish in the whole house. I didn't have to repair the roof, scrape toothpaste off the heater, doctor any wounded neighbors. It wasn't even necessary to shoo a GNU out of the kitchen. And then you felt a yearning for me. And then I remembered that I haven't had a vacation in years. In Booza Westwalk, I heard rumors about a rebellion against the Organon. Apparently, that triggered my old rescuer syndrome. You have a rescuer syndrome? If anything, you have a kidnap princesses and hurl fireballs at the rescuer syndrome. Call it what you want. I just thought my experience in recovering the victims of explosions could be useful. Hey, so you do owe some of your skills to me. I can't argue with that. Great to have you here. Beat it! Whether you believe it or not, I am the leader. Oh, heavens. Just like in my worst nightmare. Oh, yeah. So you still dream of me. I was in therapy because of that. Well, as much as I'd love to talk about your fantasies of me, your dream man has an important mission. Oh. You won't believe everything that's happened to me. Let me guess. You were almost in Elysium, and then your good nature got in the way once again. Hey, how did you know that? Because that's the way this conversation always goes. Next, I say, that's what you said the last time. And you say... But it really happened that way this time. Exactly. And even if you are about to say the opposite, you are never going to change. But I have changed. Darn it. I have a couple of questions about the dolphins. Ugh. No, you can't train them to sing karaoke with you. Okay, so much for that idea. But... Why do the dolphins look so sad? They're depressed. <laughs> I can understand that if you're their trainer. Maybe I should just break a couple of your bones. I think that might cheer them up. They love physical comedy. Why are the torpedo dolphins so small? Those aren't torpedo dolphins, you moron. They're their offspring. Baby dolphins? Oh, how cute. There. What was that? W what was what? Your look. You had that look again. I, I did not. Get away from the pool. Yes, all right, all right. The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? 
Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. How can I cheer up the dolphins? Jump in front of a moving cruiser? No, there aren't any cruisers down here. But it might help. They love physical comedy. If those are torpedo dolphins, then where are their torpedoes? Not where you're thinking. Tch, that's a relief. Janos sold the torpedo equipment to pay for pizza. Are you serious? Pizza? No, there isn't any left. Oh, darn it. How did you wind up training dolphins? I told them I used to live with a crazy baboon. Apparently, that qualified me. I need the dolphins' help for my hunt. No way! Oh, Tony, please! This is important! He's right, 26. Rufus needs your dolphins more than we do. <sighs> all right. But right now, you won't have much luck with them. They've been totally depressed all day. Okay, I'll cheer them up. After all, I'm a great entertainer. Oh, look at me! I'm Tony! My hobbies are bitching, screaming, and training dolphins! <laughs> oh, yeah. I've still got it. You can't tell the difference from the original. <laughs> Maybe it would cheer them up if you slowly choked to death. They love physical comedy. You know, I think we should change the subject. All this talk is making me hungry for tuna. And my ulcer is acting up again. The a dolphin pool needs to be cleaned again. Recruit. Excuse me? I hope I misheard that. But Tony, I am the leader here after all. I have to make sure that everything runs smoothly and I can't show you preferential treatment just because we used to be together. That is... Is there a problem, Rufus? I don't think you have your team under control, Janosch. Number 26 here actually attempted to contradict me just now. Oh, is that the fact? I must say number 26. If the boss gives you an order, then you must obey. But... No butch, recruit! Oh, aye, aye, boss. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was wrong. This is a lot worse than my nightmare. Oh, and by the way, I want my coffee black for the meeting, recruit. You cannot be serious. Janosch. Recruit! You're out of your minds. I am not your... Recruit! Oh, and don't spill any, recruit. You're digging your own grave. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's worth it. Drop and give me 20, recruit. Don't push your luck. Hey. This is Civil War, Tony. Every little bit of flab on your thighs could mean the death of one of our comrades. You miserable! Uh-oh. Hey, you! Should Uncle Rufus teach you a couple of tricks? Hmm? Oh, they're so happy! Sweet! Uh, hello? Oh, hello! Another new face! Are you one of Janosch's little friends? Hey, listen, I'm the leader of a rebellion against the Organon. Of course you are. Would our brave leader like an orange juice? Maybe later. You wouldn't happen to have any cat food. I'm sorry, my boy, no. I wanted to make some earlier, but the nice young lady pointed out to me that the baby dolphins aren't part of the supplies. What nice young lady? You even have a kitchen? Certainly. We have to supply our troops somehow. Wow, that's more than I would have expected of you. What do you think? We aren't just playing around. Would your new friend like an orange juice, Janosch? Not now, Mama. 
The baby dolphins have their pool right next to the service hatch for the canteen? Isn't that a little unsafe? How was I to know you'd crop up here? They make cat food out of baby dolphins, don't they? If anything happens to them, I will kill you. I'm serious. I will kill you. Uh, that wasn't a no. That just screams for a brilliant maneuver. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. Didn't you promise me adventure and extreme maneuvers? I didn't make any promises I actually meant to keep. Janosch is having torpedo dolphins trained in his rebel camp. Is that some sort of dirty metaphor? Uh, no, I mean that literally. Hmm, pity. What's that funky smell? I hope it isn't you. No, I think it's coming from that guy over there. That's what I would have said in your place. Yeah, to distract suspicion away from you. Why should I? I smell fantastic. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's that bum Subject over there, closed. no doubt. I wonder who lives in that tent up there? Probably another poor lunatic. Yeah, lots of those around here. Roughly three per trawler. No sign of Donna Goal. You aren't really making much of an effort, are you? Hey, I'm saving my energy for upcoming challenges. And what if the challenges don't come? Trust me, they're on their way. They're massing for a surprise attack. In the end, all our plans will be foiled. And nothing but an extremely risky coup can save us. And it always works like that? Every time. Cool. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. Come in, Rufus. I have been expecting you. Excellent. My reputation precedes me. Not at all. The crystal ball. Tell me of your arrival. And it even knows my name? Actually, I heard you humming your name in the entrance. But... No matter. You are late, Rufus. I, I was held up. Yes. I also predicted that. Which, strictly speaking, makes no sense. One more thing. I am going to greatly resent that you stealing my bananas. Are, are you some sort of psychic? I possess the third eye, yes. But... I don't practice anymore. Then I dumped the coffee grounds on the carpet in the ante room for nothing? Well, times have changed. Today, if you don't want to end up getting burnt at the stake, you're better off keeping dark forebodings to yourself. That's why I switch to couples counseling. Say what? You foresaw that you would foresee bad times and so you gave up fortune telling? B b no, I give up my job in time. Therefore, I will never foresee bad times. And what will never happen cannot be foreseen. However, I did foresee that I would give up my job for this reason. Uh, I kind of wish I was back with Doc's time anomalies. Can you predict the lottery numbers? I could. Will I succeed in saving the world? The future is not yet written, Rufus. Except in my journal, of course. I will be very busy next month, so I get a little ahead of myself.
Why do you live in a tent? My customers expect a mystical ambience. It is also practical. In the event of a catastrophe, I can pack all my belongings together in a matter of minutes. W wait what sort of catastrophe? Oops. Um, the fabric of time is in constant motion. A veil lies across the future. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uncertainty plays naked on the bongos. There is no gasoline for satin nav's chainsaw. Ooh. Hey, don't change the subject. What sort of catastrophe? Ooh. Oh, darn it. I don't want your bananas. You will steal them nevertheless, believe me. Oh, come on. Tell me the lottery numbers. No. You do couples counseling now? Yes. For some reason, people are more receptive to bad news when it comes to their relationships. I don't want to bother you any longer. I have seen it otherwise. Ah, it is time. The time of the great banana heist has come, as was foreseen. You underestimate me. I can fight it. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? I'm bored. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. A fortune teller? No way, forget it. Why should I let some random imposter tell me where I'm going? Hey, I don't believe in that stuff either. I meant you. Uh oh. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. A fortune teller? No way, forget it. Why should I let some random imposter tell me where I'm going? Hey, I don't believe in that stuff either. I meant you. Oh. On we go. I hope you know what you're doing. B -b -b Baby goal! What was that? That's my new jingle. Hmm, <laughs> needs a little bass if you ask me. Hey, Goal. Everything okay? And how? Isn't it fantastic here? <laughs> yeah, well, if you're into squalor. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Says the woman with brain damage. Janosch is having torpedo dolphins trained in his rebel camp. Oh, <gasps> how cute! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. But where will we get the pink bows? Uh, I haven't got that far yet. What's that funky smell? I hope it isn't me. No, I think it's coming from that guy over there. That's so sweet of you. But I must smell terrible. I haven't brushed my teeth today. And if you don't do that three times a day, bacteria will form in your mouth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And on weekends, they meet with the Yeti and put addictive substances into adhesive. But there are addictive substances in adhesives. Oh, poor goal. Poor gullible goal. You coming with me to the fortune teller? He lives in the tent. Ah, oh, fortune teller. Wow. What are we waiting for? Last one, there's a rotten egg. <laughs>